there. Welcome to Off Duty. I'm Wendy Bounds. Well, they say that spring is not official until the opening day of baseball. And to celebrate, I'm playing a little bit of hooky from the Wall Street Journal office. We're in the MLB Fan Cave in Manhattan. I think that makes my cameraman happy, doesn't it, Jeff? It makes Jeff happy. Who better to tell us what the cave is all about than Tim Brazen? He's Executive Vice President of Business for MLB. It is rowdy in here. What's going on? That's what it's supposed to be. Uh, well, what's going on at the center of the Fan Cave, and this is where it begins and ends, is we have our nine cave dwellers who are going to sit and watch every Major League Baseball game on television. Every single game. Well, <laughs> the ones who don't get eliminated, and that's, that's the trick, is last year we had two folks who watched every single game. This year we start with nine, and over the course of time the numbers will dwindle until there's one watching the World Series or parts of the postseason. And they're blogging and Facebooking and tweeting. I mean, it's day one. Hey guys, how rowdy are you? Are you guys pumped up for baseball? <laughs> so when will the final person be chosen? Um, that actually is going to depend on the course of the summer. I would tell you by playoffs, we'll be down to two and then we'll see what happens. Well, let's take a tour of the rest of the place. Okay, please. Great. Please. All right, if I can't actually be at the game at City Field, I can take a little City Field with me. Now, the general public, how do they get to be a part of the cave? Any of the music, any of the concerts we have are free to the public. Then we have partners that are doing contests where their contestants or guests are invited. And then starting this weekend, there'll be designated hours throughout the day where the public can tour just like they tour a Disney studio or an NBC studio or a Wall Street Journal studio. And they can tweet with the cave dwellers and so, they can get they can actually get a piece of the field. Now, how does this work, Tim? This is called Dirt Bar. <laughs> and so if you come to the cave and you're smart enough to come over to Dirt Bar, any of the major league clubs, uh, actual dirt is okay. here. Now, in terms of, if people don't pay anything to come here, it's all free to the public. Everything's free to the public. Again, we had two concerts yesterday that are free to the public. Uh, we've got concerts all next week, free to the public. There's art hanging on the walls. We're gonna have art shows for the public. Um, Again, we want to draw the public in so that we become part of the public conversation every single day, every hour of every single day. So how did you guys get here? Were you tweeting? Were you Facebook? What made you apply? Um, non-stop tweeting, non-stop Facebooking. Um, I did a little thing where I bought some window paint and started writing on people's cars. That gave me permission. Uh, so around town you would see uh, little cars that say, vote for Ashley, MLBFanCave.com, stuff like that. So. Guerrilla marketing and social media. From 22,000 down to you guys, nine of you. And what about you? How did you get here? Well, really, I just I applied kind of on a whim. I just finished my master's program, and I saw the application, and it looked fun filling it out. And so I just filled it out and made a rap video to try and get my friends' attention, try to get them to laugh. And lo and behold, it got the attention of some people at Major League Baseball. And then, you know, a lot of tweeting and a lot of Facebooking and a lot of just a lot of favors and friends and family stepping up and you know I'm one of the nine that's here so all right very cool uh, you're not allowed to root for any teams are you I root for commerce I root for all 30 teams and on a day like today I'm I'm lucky enough that most of the teams are still in first place all right I'm gonna go kick back with the cave dwellers thanks so much for being cool. with us As a flying <laughs> car, our own. Are you okay?